Hi everyone, welcome to Country Stitchers. This is Deb <laughs> and Charlie. <laughs> Hi buddy. I thought I'd give you a quick um, fall home tour uh, just in our kitchen and living room entryway area before the boys get back from hunting. Um, Charlie says hello. <laughs> I know that everyone is probably already decorated for fall. I hope you're not already thinking Christmas, but maybe you are. Um, it is so fun, oh my goodness. It's so fun to decorate for the seasons. So if you've watched my uh, home tours before, this hutch, I had painted to and stained to match the kitchen and it was by a local Amishman. And I love to decorate it for the seasons. Um, so I went ahead and put some uh, little turkey uh, <laughs> salt and pepper shakers on there with some plates, the little uh, butter sculpture there with the wheat on it. And that bowl has some different pumpkins and little sprigs coming out of it. I always keep that lamp the rolling pin and of course give us this day our daily bread sign i usually always keep that on there i have a little turkey mold uh, and some pumpkins in this display back here which is i think what you all have told me it's either a spice thing or a i think it was a spice thing that people used to put on their table and there's little like holes but I, when I bought it at the antique place, I didn't have the glass to go with it. So I went ahead and bought these cute little um, corn husk pumpkins and they fit really nicely in there. In Easter, or like for the springtime, I put eggs in there and it looks really cute. And this is from a, a friend, a client actually, and she gave me some of her family's uh, butter molding things. I love to collect the copper. I think I'm still gonna put some pumpkins in these bowls up here, but I just didn't get there yet. So next to the sink, I always have this lamp and that's for my friend Tina. I love it, I love that chicken lamp. It, it is one of my absolute favorite things. It stays on all the time. It's kind of like our night light um, for the kitchen. And this is, well, that was my finish, the Fresh Eggs Farm. And um, I went ahead and put my egg scale on there, put some wheat in the basket. And this is a real pumpkin. And then I have some books and a fake pumpkin and some eggs in my basket, or my lamp. Some wheat. Oh, uh, those sweet potatoes, <laughs> they're for dinner tomorrow. <laughs> yes, I know they're huge. That's a good thing. And I have my coffee area here. I like to have things accessible. You know that if you've watched me for a while. I want people to just grab and go. So there's hot chocolate up here, coffee beans, there's tea in the back, there is little mini marshmallows, uh, cinnamon, tea bags, honey, vanilla, sugar, all that stuff that people can just make what they want and, and just take it. Over here next to the extra sink, um, these pumpkins are so fun to make if you haven't made them and you can just put little succulents in them. And this is just a little bit of that extra uh, mossy grass that you can get, the dried stuff. They la These things last forever. They are so great to make. And there's a little pumpkin mold behind there. I always have a lighted arrangement here in the corner and I change it for the seasons. And I found this cute basket this year. I didn't put anything in it yet, um, but I love the color of it and I love the black trim. And I have my rolling pin with the pumpkins out here. Um, my fall candle that I'm just savoring to light. Another pumpkin, a real pumpkin, with some dried flowers in it and then just a piece of dried um, orange in it and wheat. They are, they are such fun little uh, things to make. If you're having a dinner, 
They're great to make ahead of time and just put on everyone's placemat. And on one of my hanging scales here in the kitchen, I have my teapot that has a succulent in it and then I just put some uh, wheat and little faux pumpkins around it here in the window. And if you can see out, outside uh, through the window there, that is our chicken coop. And I love to have the chickens right outside my kitchen window because I can watch them. I have a lantern there with a few fall things around it. And then in this scale, I, I keep that grass in the spring and the summer, but then in the fall, all I do is just add a few sprigs of wheat to the arrangement. I have a, um, lo a long uh, black wrought iron hanger up there um i love i love that i think i mean it hangs uh lots of utensils that i use and my cake testing pieces up here um and then that awesome beautiful cutting board that's from william sonora sonoma years and years and years ago so i'll change out a couple of the things but i i use that all the time So on to the kitchen table. So this year I, I have this um, runner that I got from Home Goods, and I love the color of it. It has a very nice dark rust color to it. Um, and these pumpkins, they're almost like, cer um, not ceramic. Oh goodness. Um, let me think they're they are so they are so heavy <laughs> um, I had got those years ago from Kathy's primitives uh, almost like a concrete and they're wonderful I love them and I found this long tray at home goods this year and I, I think it's so beautiful it has a really cool basket weave on it I love it and um, I have the taper candle holders, which I usually keep there, real pumpkins, some faux, you know, uh, fall sprigs in there. These leaves, there's one on each side, they're from the dollar store. They are so pretty. And then I have a bundle of wheat inside this really pretty brass lantern. The brass lantern I also found at Home Goods a while ago. So for this fall, this is my tablescape. Uh, let's see, over here on my mom's hutch. You know I always keep the swans if you've watched our videos and I, I pretty much do this the same because I, I love it, I don't get sick of it. Um, I just put some fall greenery in there, some wheat, it always have light. It always has lights on the bottom. Um, Liz got me that little pumpkin that has the E on it. I think it's so cute, so sweet. So that is what I have here. And in my greenware up here, I have two little um, apples that have the twine wrapped around them that are really pretty. I did go ahead and buy two things to put around my candles here on this uh, faux scale. Um, I found those on Amazon. They're really pretty. This is what they look like up close. These again are lighted candles. They last, um, I have them set for eight hours and they're on a timer, so you can have them turned on at a certain time, and then they will go off, and they are battery operated. And if you hear Charlie munching on his bone, there he is. Charlie, hey, say hi. <laughs> um, this is a pumpkin salt and pepper shaker. 
And I found those at the Dollar Tree this year. Super cute. So this is the tablescape from the back. Oh, this package over here is a birthday gift. All right, and then I always have a fall arrangement in my large urn or I don't know what you call it here on the floor. I just change it out for the seasons. I have a cute little butter churn here and a um, chicken doorstop back here from my mother-in-law. On my Nana's pie safe, I really did not change anything. I'm sorry that light is so bright, but um, I love how it usually decorates up every uh, fall. So this is um, a cute little, I would call it a gravy container or a little pitcher um, that has a turkey on it. I love it, it's so pretty. I have that there with some faux pumpkins and greenery and bless the food before us. Some wheat in the back. And then this is a two tiered candle stand. Um, the tray is separate from this part. And then I just put a bunch of fall things in here. Again, that is a battery operated candle. And there's a tobacco basket with some cute fall things behind it, like leaves and berries. Some pheasants that I put on that scale. So that is how I did that. And that's the kitchen. And there's the dog crate and the baby exosaucer. <laughs> um, let's see. I don't think I have anything really fall over here. I just let, I clean the china cabinet and um, put the lights on and it, it looks nice for the fall. Okay, so here's one of the battery operated candles that obviously the battery went out. <laughs> and I do get questions, how often do I have to replace them? Uh, it really does go for quite a while. Um, oh gosh, I, I really don't know. Um, it, is, it is a long time. So if you're in our foyer, when you walk in, uh, this is what you see. Um, okay, so I'm standing at the front door and our half bathroom is over there. And that is the living room. And that is the big, huge, uh, beautiful uh, Victorian armoire that we bought from a auction last year. If you watched any of my other videos, I'd explain more about that. We have a coat closet right off of the foyer here and a coat rack that hangs like my purse and our hats and coats and all that good stuff. Um, you might hear the cows outside. <laughs> all right, so I, I do leave this up, this stitching, because I just think it's adorable. That's a Kathy Barrick piece. I think it's called Heaven and... Mm, is it Heaven and Nature or is it Heaven and Earth? I forget. But it's adorable. And Matt made the frame, and that's how it hangs on the door. And I leave it there all the time because I think it's so pretty. In the, we call this the black bathroom because it has all black, like sink, toilet. It's adorable. I love it. Um, I have the these nesting boxes that I found at an antique shop for like nothing. They're so cute and they're perfect in here. They're in the corner. And then on this um, cabinet that is under the window, again, that was Amish made. We have just, I don't know, a cute little pumpkin sign, real pumpkins, a scale, pumpkin up top, another scale, <laughs> plant. And I have two sconces, one there and one on this side 
of the window. And this year, I put the tops on the sconces. They came from Southern Living when they used to uh, do parties, home parties. And I found those um, wheat bundles at Home Goods. I think they're super cute. Uh, on this shelf, I just really all I did was put the bless sign and a couple pumpkins, put some wheat in that basket. I didn't get anything else done there yet. And on the back of the toilet, just a faux pumpkin. Um, on the sink um, here, I do have a container and it holds some little uh, fall napkins so that if you don't want to use the towel, the hand towel, you can always grab a napkin. So that's the bathroom. And here in the foyer, uh, on the bench, I just have some fall pillows. It's getting really dark in here. Sorry, I should turn on more lights. Uh, on that shelf that Matt made, I really didn't change very much. I, I did put in the fall sprigs for the um, glass, like the, uh, the ball glass jars that he did for me on the wood. Other than that, uh, I just have some cute little fall things coming out of this basket. A sign that says Autumn Blessings. Some cute little faux pumpkins. And I am losing my light really quickly, sorry. Um, this is a great box. And so it's a wooden box and I keep it here all the time, but I change my arrangement for the season. So for fall, um, I do have live fern in here and a couple other things, but I added the dried um, <laughs> hydrangeas from outside and the wheat from outside. There's leaves from outside. I mean, it's just, it's so pretty when you can just bring nature back in. And that is sitting on the cabinet that Matt made. And I do have lights. I forgot to turn them on for you, but I have lights under here. If you're wondering, this post here, uh, it goes up to our loft. Cute little pumpkin there on the books. And then around here uh, on the sofa, just have the, you know, cute little pillows. I, I really didn't change too much or go shopping for them this year. On the ottoman, I have some real pumpkins, cute little uh, beaded, I don't know what you call it, honestly. I have some brown, a little thing of brown wear there, a little creamer with some uh, orange stems coming out of it, another lighted candle. And then in this little pottery thing, which again, I found at the dollar store, I have a candle in there. And then that's a real plant in that lantern. So that's cute. I'm really sorry, I'm trying not to move too quickly. Um, let's see, over here on this chair, I just have a, a cute pillow. Um, this was made by Nana, and I have an overlay of two throws here. I like to mix, te mix texture and patterns, so that's like a, um, a, more of a zebra black and white print with that, and I think it's really pretty. Um, I, I only have two of those concrete pumpkins over here. Still some lanterns with the battery-operated candles and real plants. Same as over here. I have a cute um, pillow with a teddy bear on my great-grandmother's chair there. In this lantern, I just have a huge galvanized pumpkin. And then on this plant stand, I change the arrangement every year. So this is the fall and I have lighted twigs in that. These twigs are electric. They are not battery operated. So they stay on all the time. <laughs> Um, on this, uh, oh, what's it, uh, oh, 
what did they call that? Darn it. When I got this at an auction, this green um, chest here. Oh, it's a tack box, I think is what it is for people who ride horse. Uh, it's really pretty cool. And on that, I just have some black wheat inside of that container. And I kept my plants on there. I have a cute little basket here. Uh, if you've seen any pictures of Charlie or Rhett, this little basket, it holds some blankets and it has a sign that says snuggle up. And we've put Charlie in there and we've also put Rhett in there. All right, I need to speed up because my battery's about to die. So on our mantle, um, I have the uh, corn husk wreath. I have the battery operated candles, a sign this is pumpkin, some uh, wheat and some different berries. And then this is a really cool little swag that goes across. I'm gonna get a little closer to show you. That's the wheat and the berries. Okay, and there's Miss Olga. If you're a stitcher, you know that that is Olga Stocky. And here is the swag. So in this swag, it's super cute. I went ahead and I purchased these cute lights that have the, um, the gold and copper kind of uh, filigree leaves on them. Again, they're on a timer, so they come on at a certain time and stay on for uh, six hours, I think. There's a cute little pumpkin in that. Um, lantern. I have my uh, stitching here, my montage covered up because if you watch our videos, you know that I have a problem with stink bugs here in this area. <laughs> so I have wound it up further. Uh, this is where I stopped. And so now I am ready to move on. Okay. And let's see, over here in this area, cute, uh, I have the sewing wheel. And then in this old little wagon over here, I have an old teddy bear and then some different uh, pumpkins that were handmade with, with different materials. A lantern, another cute little pumpkin over here. And I just change out the, um, the throws on the back of the chairs and the pillows for the season. And that is where our TV is. Up here on top of the TV cabinet, I have lots of um, pumpkins and wheat and faux fall things, um, along with the lanterns and the shaker boxes and also the coffee churn up there. And down here on the floor next to the TV cabinet, um, I just have the, the three-tiered pumpkin there and then some different fall-like looking little display things in the basket. This um, piece that hangs on the door here to the downstairs, it has wheat coming out of it. Um, it does have lighted twigs that are battery operated, Obviously, I did not replace the batteries, so um, you don't get to see that, but <laughs> I'll change that up for the season. I do leave the cross on at all times now, and I just leave that tin bucket because I just think it's adorable. It's a great little uh, door display. So this is the other side of the, you probably get a better look on this side because of the light is not coming through the window, but this is that great box that I told you was, on the back of the sofa. So when you come in the house, you see the other side of it. And then this is from the living room side. So like I said, it has real fern in it and then just the real wheat, um, hydrangeas that I stuck in there to dry, leaves, um, all kinds of things, but real and fake. And it just really looks very pretty. And I keep that great box there at all times. I just change the uh, display for the season. Okay, I'm trying not to move too much. 
<laughs> All right, well, I think that is everything that I can show you right now. Very nice try. <laughs> oh my. Um, anyway, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me today to show you this quick little fall tour. I know I'm late um, getting this up and out, but I hope and pray that you are enjoying this fall season. It is such a beautiful time of year. Uh, and you will see Liz and me uh, soon on hopefully our next stitching video. And uh, take care of yourselves, enjoy yourselves, and enjoy all of the pumpkin season. And we'll see you soon. All right, take care. Bye.